Everyone is part of a bigger story. It's a bigger story than you can imagine. It's a big story about a really big God. Discover the story that shows you the character of God. Hey, I'm Caleb, and you are looking at something that is one of a kind. My Bible. <laughs> See, there are some amazing books in this world, but none of them comes close to the Bible because the Bible actually contains God's words to us. Now, in these pages, we discover that God made each one of us in his image to reflect a little bit of who he is. And each one of us shines in a completely different way. That's individuality. And I have five stories to show us what it can look like. We get started in the very first chapter of the first book of the Bible. In the beginning, God took nothing and created everything. <laughs> We've got stars and starfish, apples and oranges, icebergs and boiling hot lava, but the most incredible creation of all, people. Because no matter what you look like on the outside, you're designed to be a picture of what God is like. Time to hop to the New Testament. This is gonna take a sec. Here, we meet Matthew. And honestly, he's not a person people want to meet. <laughs> Cause Matthew is a tax collector doing dirty work for the Romans and paying himself an extra share of everyone's money. Not a fan favorite, right? But then Jesus shows up. And when he looks at Matthew, he sees a brand new story. Let's meet another new face in the book of Acts. Lydia is a successful businesswoman who sells purple cloth. She's already gathering on the riverbank with others to pray. So when Paul shows up with stories of Jesus and a whole new way to live, Lydia offers everything she's got to make space for the new believers. Let's slide ahead to a letter Paul wrote to his friend, Timothy. Even though Timothy's young, he's been traveling and training with Paul and now he's in charge of the church in Ephesus. Here's what Paul tells him. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. Set an example for the believers in what you say and in how you live. Think you're too young to make a difference? It doesn't matter if you're 12 or 10 or even five you can still show people how to love God and love others. We wrap up with another letter from Paul. This one to the church in Corinth. There is one body, but it has many parts. God has placed each part in the body just as he wanted it to be. You are the body of Christ. God has designed you for a special role that no one else can fill. And when we all use our unique gifts together, we can do more than you can imagine to show God's love to the world. And that's what individuality is all about. And I can't wait to see how it plays out in you and me.